the similarities that all of these cells are going to have is that they're all going for the same actual graphic file for their background although it's going to be positioned differently and another common thing it has is that we wanted to get rid of the text that was in there. I mean we don't want to get rid of it we just want to not have the viewer be able to see it but now we're at kind of a second step and that's what's unique about all these and that's well, we, we don't want to see the same picture for all these right because right now we're just looking at the image art or the album art for Brian Eno but we want to uh, set it up for everybody else as well for their unique ones so this is actually going to require a new class for us and this is actually also going to get into the essence of what these image sprites are about and why we went through the trouble of creating a graphic file like this that was had these exact dimensions of a hundred pixels wide by this image being a hundred pixels and then the next image starting at the next hundred pixels and these hundred pixel intervals so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna create a new class and what I'm gonna do is create right off the bat I'm gonna create a class for for each one of these artists so I'll do Eno and I'll just copy and paste over here I could do Williams, Coltrane, I didn't forget the period, I'm keeping all lowercase, Davis, and Muddy Waters, or just Waters. Okay, so here we go, and now let's do some positioning. and. I'm going to first position the Eno at background position and I'm going to set it at 0, 0. And that's the X and Y axis. Um, and if you recall from you know your high school geometry, yeah, I didn't listen either, but I recall because I look it up, here's the X axis is the vertical and the Y axis is the horizontal. So this first value over here represents the X value and the second one represents the y value. So 0 0 at least on this grid would be 0 0 right here. And that's referring to where this image is going to be sitting in the viewport. So at 0 0, just imagine that the only thing you could see in this grid over here is a 100 by 100 pixel area right so there's a square so what I'm saying is that there's a we'll say that there's this square right in the middle over here that's allow like a hundred by hundred dimension square that's allowing for an image to be seen well what we're gonna see is this top image because it's positioned at a hundred and a hundred this bottom left hand corner over here but now if we want to see the Hank Williams um, graphic then we're going to have to kind of adjust that positioning. And the way that happens is we're going to adjust it so that the very margin of it is going to be at negative 100 pixels. Because by setting that thing up to negative 100 pixels, it's going to bring it up and you're going to see that in the viewport. So let me just show you what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to do background position. And so it's going to be 0 pixels and then you're going to do negative 100 pixels. Okay. There we go. And you know what? Before I go further, let me make sure I apply this class to see that my logic is working over here. I'm going to go back to my source code. And now where I have the TD class, where they're all TD class artwork, but you could add one element could have multiple different classes. It can't have multiple IDs, but it could have multiple classes. So I'm going to look right here, and I'm going to start looking for, since I already put it in, Dreamweaver brings it right up. So picture Brian Eno. Now you see, you see what this looks like. It's separated by spaces, and it has two separate classes over there. So now I could go down and do the same thing for my Williams. So here's another one. And where is. I have what? Oh, there's Williams. Okay. I'm not going to bother doing them all right now. I just want to make sure that it actually works. So let me go to my Holy Grail and I'll refresh it. 
Nice. Okay. Now you see how that other portion, all right, when we're doing it, that other bottom graphic, if we look, if I zoom in over here, you see that other icon peeking in uh, right underneath it. That's all right, because I'm going to fine tune the dimensions of these things, and, and that's going to be my next step. But for now, I just want to make sure that each one of these, the background is going to be positioned differently, and it's going to show the different icon for the most part. We're, like I said, I'm going to position it perfect in, in the steps to come. But for now, let me go ahead and just do exactly what I was thinking. I'll add Coltrane and Davis and I believe Waters. Okay, save it. Now going back to my CSS, now it's just going to be a matter of going in increments of a hundred so from Eno to Williams I could just take this code and paste it and since it's going to be the next hundred increment this went from zero to negative a hundred this is going to go to negative two hundred and then what's Davis going to go to right and then what's water is going to go to four hundred right so now let's see if it works I hope so Boom, cool. So look, each one of these is different, but they're all calling the same file. So, all right, very good. Each one is different. Each one is different. Great, so far so good. So in summary, what I did is, in my HTML, I added, I added a class. Now you know what, you need to add it through code view because if you add it through the property inspector it'll get rid of this artwork class. So in code view I originally I just had artwork like this as the class. I did a space and I put it within the quotes over there so it's Eno and I added a unique class for all of these different TD elements. Then I had those classes, obviously those classes were already in my CSS, they're artist specific. And for Eno, and for the first icon I had, I put background position 0 to 0 pixels. Then because I wanted to adjust this thing, so that was, so background image was 0 to 0. So it's kind of like the viewport is like this, if you think about it like this. Then I set it up so that the X axis margin was negative 100, so that brought it up 100 pixels and it popped it up here. Then I brought the Coltrane one to negative 200, so negative 200 is 1, 2, and then here was the margin that it was doing. The Davis one was bringing it up 3, right? 1, 2, 3, and there it goes. And the Waters was bringing it all the way down here.